I'll read you something like this. A salary is a fixed amount paid for one year's work. So a salary is basically the amount that you get for one year worth of work. Now it is usually divided into equal weekly, fortnightly or monthly payments. So guys, tell me, how many weeks in a year? 52, you should all know this. And how much is a fortnight? A fortnight is two weeks, isn't it? So how many fortnights in a year? Well, there's 52 weeks in a year, so fortnightly it would be 52 divided by 2, which is 26. So there's 26 uh, fortnights in a year. And monthly, to get the monthly payment, well, there's 12 months in a year, so if you would like to get the monthly payment, you would divide your salary by 12. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know in this first little part. So it's going to be very simple. So question one. Find the following if the weekly payment is $600. So they give you the weekly payment. Now, let's get the fortnightly payment. We know that a fortnight is two weeks, so we simply need to divide the weekly payment by two weeks, which is, which is giving you something like this. Okay, so that's it. That's as simple as it is. Now, annual payments. Now, how many weeks in a year? There's 52. So we simply need to multiply the weekly payment by 52. That's it. And you get something like this. Okay, so make sure if you get the same number as me. And then the monthly payment. Now, some of you may roughly think in a month there's four weeks, but guys, not every month is exactly four weeks. So please do not multiply this simply by four, okay? Month does not exactly equal to four weeks. That's only a rough estimate. What I'm gonna do to get the monthly payment is multiply this by 52 to get the whole year worth salary. And then I'm going to divide that by 12 to get one month payment. Multiply by 52 weeks, or you could just probably use the answer we got in B, because that's what we did in B, and then divide that by 12. So pretty much you're dividing this one by 12, and that will get you something like this. So that's your one month uh, worth of payment. So as long as you remember how much in each particular unit of period, that everything else is going to be very simple. Okay, so let's try the next one. Question two, find the following if the monthly payment is this. Now, what's the annual payment? Well, we know that there's 12 months in a year, so to get the annual payment, we simply have to multiply this by 12 months, and that's your answer. Now, the weekly payment, okay, well, there's 52 weeks in a year, so I'm simply going to divide the annual payment by 52, which gets you this. That's pretty much it. And again, guys, do not divide this simply by four, because as I said, a month isn't exactly four weeks, all right? That's only a rough value. Question three, find the following if the fortnightly payment is something like this. So they give you the fortnightly payment. Fortnight is again two weeks, isn't it? So to get the yearly payment, we know that there's 26 fortnights in a year. So we simply multiply this by 26, and that's your answer, simple. Now the monthly payment, we know that a fortnight is two weeks, guys, but as again, we don't assume that there's four weeks in a month. So what I'm gonna do is divide the yearly payment by 12 to get the one month worth of interest. And then, well, that's your answer, that's the monthly payment. Question four, find the following if the yearly payment is something like this. So that's your yearly payment, which is basically your salary. Now we want the monthly payment, what should we do? There's 12 months in a uh, year, so we simply divide it by 12, and that's your answer. Weekly payment, that's your yearly payment. There's 52 weeks in a year, simply divide it by 52. That's your weekly payment. Question five, Tom's annual salary is this, okay? They give you their annual salary. He receives a pay rise of 5%. So if you're a really decent worker, if you're a very, very diligent worker, the owner or the boss of your company may decide to give you a pay rise, which is excellent, isn't it? This guy, Tom, gets a pay rise of 5%. So we want to find his new annual salary. So we'll have to increase this by 5%. Now, there's two ways to do this, but I always want you to guys always find the smarter way. So what a lot of people will tend to do is multiply 5% of that and then add that on top of that. That's perfectly fine too. But guys, now I want you to get in the hang of finding the smarter way, the quicker way. So we know that if we get the pay rise of 
Well, this is actually the 100% worth of salary. That's 100%. That's the amount he gets for the whole year, 100%. But if he gets a pay rise of 5%, his value would now become 105%. So I'm going to multiply my salary by 105%. And then just calculate that. And that's your answer. So you can just plug that into your calculator and get the answer pretty, very, pretty quickly, straight away. Try to get into the hang of, you hang of using this method now, all right, if you haven't already got used to this yet. Now, this percentage button, for those who don't already use this, there is a percentage button in your calculator. So a lot of people tend to change this into a decimal or make it into a fraction. That's fine too, but I see a lot of students making silly mistakes when they're converting a percentage to a decimal or a fraction. So instead, now guys, simply use the percentage button in your calculator. You probably have to use shift some button there, but hopefully you can find that yourself. So go look for that and try to utilize that button, okay? And then it won't make, you won't have to make any silly mistakes at all. Find his new weekly payment. So if his new annual salary is this, what would be his weekly payment? This is something we've done in the past few questions already. Simply divide it by 52. And that's your weekly, the, the new weekly payment. And then C, find how much more he receives per week. This is how much he receives per week now, but before, when this was his annual salary, his weekly payment would have been a lot, uh, would have been different, isn't it? A lot less. So what I'm going to do is find the difference between this weekly payment and the weekly payment when he got an annual salary of this much. So this is what we got in B. And this is simply the old salary divided by 52. So I want to get the one week's worth from the old salary. Figure this out guys, and then subtract it from your answer in B, and you should get something like this. So please double check after utilizing your calculator. Question six, John's monthly salary is given over here. He receives a pay reduced by 8%. So this is actually the opposite of the previous question. This time, John, he's not working very well, or maybe the company is in a financial crisis or something like this. I'm not really sure about the reasoning, but John is going to be reduced in payment. So now he gets an 8% deduction in his salary. What I'm gonna do is find his new annual salary by reducing this one by 8%. Now I'm gonna use the same method as I did in question 5A, but it's gonna be the vice versa. Guys, you could just simply find the 8% of this and then subtract it from it, but what is the smarter way? What is the quicker way? Well, this is 100%, right? But to get the reduction of 8%, we simply reduce 100 by eight. So we simply need to multiply by 92%. But here guys, we want the annual salary. So what I'm gonna do is multiply his monthly salary by 12 months and then multiply that by 92% to get the annual salary. Calculate that, that's what you should get. All right, that's the answer. That's all there is to it. Find his new fortnightly payment. So if that's his annual salary, how many fortnights in a year? 26. So simply divide that by 26 to get this amount. That's the amount that he gets per fortnight. Now find how much less he receives per fortnight. So now because he's got a pay reduction, he's going to get a less value for per fortnight, isn't it? So first of all, we need to calculate how much he got per fortnight when he got a monthly salary of that, and then subtract away this much. I'm simply going to do this one. This is the amount that he gets per fortnight for his old monthly salary. So see how 4,500 is the monthly salary. We multiply that by 12 to get the one year worth of salary and then divide that by 26 to get one fortnight's worth of payments. Okay, so this is the old one. And then we subtract away our answer from B. That's the new fortnightly payment, isn't it? So find the difference, calculate it, and that's what you should get. Please double check. And that's how much less he received. Now he's not gonna get that much more every fortnight. Okay, so poor old John, that's the answer. We've, all, we've calculated all about his salary, haven't we? So that's pretty much it about salaries.